using online video recordings to teach tone production in the middle school orchestra classroom. Personal Improvement Project Lightning Talk by Marcus Dunn. See if this scenario seems familiar to you. As a teenager, I did not develop a clear understanding of appropriate tone quality on my instrument. I began playing the tuba in a rural high school in Colorado. As far as I knew, I was the only tuba player within a two-hour drive in any direction. My band director, while a very skilled music educator, could not provide me with appropriate models of a characteristic tuba sound, perhaps due to the difficulty of obtaining recordings of professional tuba players. We did not enjoy access to free and legal music streaming services such as YouTube and Spotify during the early 2000s. As a 15-year-old boy living in rural Colorado, I did not know that I needed to improve my tone production. I assumed blatting as loud as possible on the instrument was what tuba players were supposed to do. Music educators can't talk about tone in a concrete way using only words. Christopher Selby said, The only element that is not visibly depicted through music symbols is tone the hardest to explain with words. I've heard many conductors, including myself, attempt to describe tone using words such as velvety, big, round, smooth, and filling the room. None of those words are actually associated with sound. Experienced musicians have had multiple experiences exploring tone quality and can benefit from discussions using such descriptions. However, Young music students most likely do not know what those words are supposed to mean in a musical context. Edwin Gordon wrote that typical young students have no idea of the sound of the tone quality that they are expected to produce on the instruments that they are learning to play. Students will learn best from models of good tone quality. Selby affirmed, instead of talking about tone, it is best to pick up an instrument and show students how a good tone looks and sounds. Most instrumental music teachers cannot model on all instruments to the necessary level for the students to imitate with a professional sound. My solution to teaching tone using models for every instrument? Videos! I gathered names of professional musicians on each orchestra instrument, as well as professional level ensembles, and found quality videos on YouTube of their playing. These resources can be found in the description of this video. I wrote a series of nine lessons that introduced tone production for string instruments. These lessons include various videos featuring professional musicians demonstrating beautiful tone. Along with the lessons given in class, I assign students homework to watch videos of professionals. These videos are differentiated to each instrument. So viola players watch professional viola players and bass players watch professional bass players. A teacher can assign these videos easily using a learning management system or LMS such as Google Classroom or Canvas and other online tools such as Edpuzzle. These videos provide students exposure to professional level tone quality with the aim that they construct a mental idea of the tone quality that they are trying to produce. Had I been directed to recordings of professional tuba players in high school, I may have had a better idea of what a tuba is supposed to sound like, rather than try to blat as loud and bright as I could. Using videos for providing models of appropriate tone quality can help students sound better, thus encouraging them to continue playing their instrument.